Hi everyone, this is Austin Gilbert here once again showing you how to take advantage of another digital resource offered to you by the Athens County Public Library. This week, Sari showed you how to use Creative Bug. I'm going to continue that train and show you another DIY resource called the Hobbies and Crafts Reference Center. It's pretty easy to get to. All we do, once again, we're starting here at the Athens County Public Library's website and we're going to move over to the Research tab. We're going to click on it, and we're going to click on View All Research Resources. Now, here we have a whole bunch of resources that you can browse through to make it a little bit easier. Up here on the top, we can click on DIY slash consumer, and that's going to narrow it down to all the resources that fit that tag, and go down just a little bit. Underneath Creative Bug, we have Hobbies and Crafts Reference Center. We're going to click on this. It may ask for your library card, depending on if you're already signed into the ACPL website or not. If you aren't, it'll ask for your library card. You'll just type that in. If you are signed in, we should be able to just click on it, and it will, after a brief pause, going to, yep, just take us right into the main website. This is the front page. If you've ever used any other kind of online database for research, um, it may look a little familiar to you. It's laid out in much the same way, so it may take a little getting used to, but it's not too difficult once you get in there. Um, on the front page, you're going to see a bunch of different categories like arts and crafts, collecting, needle crafts, scrapbooking, all kinds of different crafts that you would want. It has a wide variety, which is very helpful, especially if you're looking to get into a new hobby. At the bottom, we also have some popular sources. What's nice about this is you can actually look through full magazines. So they have full PDF scans of things like modern Mod Podge, simple hip knit scarves, scarves and shawls for yarn lovers. The possibilities are endless. We're going to look at a few of them now. My personal hobby is cross-stitching, so we're going to go into needle crafts and textiles. We have all the different subcategories. I'm going to click on cross-stitch, and it's going to show us all the different cross-stitching articles that we can access. Now this is where it gets a little weird. Some of these are on under HTML full text, which mostly means it's going to be just text. Um, you may have a little bit of trouble finding patterns that you can follow. Uh, if we want to refine our results so that we can get straight to patterns that we can view and copy down. Up here, let's go to Advanced Search. Click on it. We're going to wait a second. And we're going to skip over most of these modifiers. We don't need to look through those right now. But at the very bottom, we have this option for PDF Full Text. We're going to check that box hit the search button here, and now it's going to refine our results so that we only have cross-stitching articles with PDF full text images, which is great because that means I can click on Pretty Patio Pillow, and it's going to give us first the source of where it came from, designs and machine embroidery. If I go over here and click on PDF full text, it opens up an actual scan of that article, which should, yeah, we got the nice bright color photos, it's going to show us all our materials and supplies, what designs we're using, how to create a frame. So this is actually for machine embroidery, but it still follows the same basic steps as anything else. If this were a cross stitch, you would see a full color pattern. Um, very easy to follow, follow along with. If we want to go back to the results list up here, we just click result list. And again, we have more PDF full text articles that we can look through. Another one we can look at that might be interesting to some people. If we go into home and garden, there's a lot of homesteading type DIY projects. We've got basketry, cake decorating, floral crafts. Down here we have soap making, which is pretty interesting. I don't see too many resources that offer guides on soap making. Here we have a mixture of PDF and HTML full text. Here it doesn't so much matter which one you pick, I'm just going to pick whatever one looks most interesting to you, like I have handmade equipment here, and this will show you how to actually make soap making equipment, like frames and liners and what kind of tools you'll need. It goes step by step, has images this time around, very easy to follow along, um, well worth checking out. Let's go, oop, not there. 
Let's go back to the home page here, where if I just hit new search or if I click on the logo right here, it takes us back to the home page. I can click on publications right here, and this will give us a list of all the actual magazines and books that we can look through that they have PDF scans of. Like we have things here like Action Figure Digest, Adorable Animal Applique, Afghan Variegations. Let's go ahead and click on this one. We'll wait. It'll tell us you know, publishing information. Over here on the right hand side, it'll show us all the issues, which for this, we just have 2009 available. We're going to click on 2009. And yep, here are the contents of that full book. So we have a table of contents. We have watercolor ribbons, Dark Harbor, and it looks like we have PDF full text for everything. So if I click on this, it should yep, give us a full scan. We have all the materials you'll need, the finished size, all the row instructions, and it'll show you the finished project at the end. So this is a resource you can use in place of or to supplement what you may find on Creative Bug, which Sari has gone over, and I fully recommend both watching her video and checking out Creative Bug as well. But the Hobbies and Crafts Reference Center, it's a little more detailed, um, may take a little more getting used to, but it's very rewarding once you get into it. Uh, definitely worth checking out. As always, if you have additional questions, you can contact somebody at the Athens County Public Library, and we will help you out the best we can. Thank you, and have a good afternoon.